real estate or are you selling timeshare or are you selling both? both? Well, I got a question for you. Do you know what it is? See, the problem with most people, they don't even know what real estate really is. All they know is I come in and get someone to buy a week of time, a week of vacation, or two weeks of vacation. That's all they really know. I, I, raise your hand if you know what the word farming is. Raise your hand. Exactly. Well, I did another meeting and one person knew. See, you gotta understand, if you don't know what value is, you don't know what real estate is, then what makes you think the family know? A lot of them don't know. I'm gonna give that for me. I like to get that third part of the story. We need to start throwing in some third part of the story. But here it is. When I first bought my house, my partner, he was like my best friend. He was a broker, a real estate agent. Been knowing him for 15 years. I said, I'm worried about my first house. He said, no problem, though. Here's the listing. I, I, I don't do this for everybody. But he my friend, because he what? Trust me. Here's the list. Go look at all the houses. Tell me which one you want me to bring. Well, go to and let you see inside. No problem. I'm looking around I'm everywhere. I came to one house, people was in it. Came to another house, people was in it. Came to another house, they were cooking fish. They came to another house, people was in it. I said, I don't want you to want these houses. I can't tell you nothing. He said, when you find one, give me a call. I said, no problem. I kept looking. Number 20 house. Number 21. Number 22. I got to number 23, the th 23rd house. I went to the house and said, oh my God, Becky, this house is empty. <laughs> I said, this is my house right here. I bought that house because it was what? Empty. Wow. It was clean, it was pretty, the carpet was nice, the window was big, had a big palm tree. I said, this is what I'm gonna own right here. I called him, I said, I found my house. He said, come on, low, let's go buy it. I went to the house, looked inside, loved it. I bought that house. But remember, I bought it because it was See. One of the houses I looked for, there was in Pine Hill. How was the area? Deep down in the area, deep down in Old Court, where it wasn't that great at that time. But I didn't know. He didn't educate me. He didn't tell me what to look for. He didn't tell me look for the school zone, the hospital. He didn't tell me none of that. But he was my best friend. Wow. Wow. I trusted him. Wow. We had that trust. So I didn't know. Thank God. When I bought the house, it was an A school, A high school, A elementary school. The health center was right across the street. The 408 was right down the road. The West Coast Mall was booming. <laughs> I bought a great house of $113,000 back then, 2000. I'm like, man, I did a good job. My kids went to good schools. It was an awesome neighborhood. I had a palm tree. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was trying to find a house that was empty. He didn't educate me on value. He didn't educate me on real estate. Thank God I got lucky and found one empty in a great area. 2006, I even got more lucky. Sure did. Sold that house in 2006. Not the 113,000. Not the 150. Not the 180. Not the 200. But I hit him in the head for $236,000. Damn, I got you. <laughs> now I know better. Now I can now, I know what to look for when I'm going to buy a house, an uh, area, the location. I know better now. When I went and got my real estate license, I learned even more. So if I didn't know, my best friend who I trust did not even tell me, what makes you think that the family that's coming in here today knows anything about real estate. What makes you think the person from Fifth Jerry, Georgia, actually, that live in an apartment all their lives, mom and dad live in an apartment all their lives, so they're accustomed to staying in what? What makes you think that they know about real estate? <coughs> think about it. What, what, what makes you think that? Huh? They don't know. Your God job is to educate these families on about real estate, how real estate works how it can enhance their vacation lifestyle, how real estate can enhance their vacation portfolio. The same reason people want to own their own home, they now want to own their own what? Vacation. Educate them. It's interesting, Avatar's coming in 2017. Avatar's coming, get ready. You think they're gonna open Avatar in the summer? Or maybe they should open Avatar in September. 
When will be the best time to open Avatar? So. September. It's slow. They open Avatar in September. Guess what a lot of people are going to do? They come in. And guess what? When they come in September, the hotel is going to do what with their prices? Raise, raise them up. So the hotel is going to raise their price. This is going to raise what price? The tickets. So when the ticket price goes up, the hotel price goes up, then what happens to our real estate value? Goes up. Goes up. Now we have the right to take our prices higher because everybody is coming here. When people come here, that's what you do. Football game, Alabama, Notre Dame. When there's a game in the season, a Connor Lodge is $236 a night. In the springtime, it's $39.99. Bring your own sheets and your bleach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. So, so in September, when there's only 40% or 50%, 60% occupancy, bring Avatar. Now we're at 100% occupancy. Now the price is going to go up. Our value go up. How many times you ask the family, do you own your own home? <coughs> some do, some don't. That's the number one question. Do you own your own home, John and Mary? Do you own it, Jose and Maria? Do you own your own home? Uh, no. But now, you should know right then, they don't know about real estate. If you don't own your own home, you ain't bought your own home yet, and you 40, 50 years old, <laughs> something wrong here. <laughs> That's the mindset you have to have. If you build a value, when you show the five bedroom, whether they look interested in it or not, they will be there want it. You will make them want it if you build a value. If they want it and they're interested, only thing you have to do then is make them feel like they can't what? Afford it. I want this, I'm interested, I can't afford it. So when they come back from that property, it's time now, for we got it. They want it, they're interested. But one thing we have to do, we have to seal the deal. How do you seal the deal on a five bedroom? You established trust, you did your discovery, you showed them the five, you showed them the four. How you seal the deal on anything is by sharing the benefits that come along with it. You know what come along with a piece of deed of real estate at Westgate? What come along with a great location? What come along with it is multiple resorts all around the world that Westgate owns. So when you own here, you get to go everywhere. That's why you should own at Westgate. You get to go to Park City, you get to go to Utah, you get to go to the lakes, you get to go to Gatlinburg. That's why. The location is what gets you to a different location. It's all about location, all about the value, all about the money. But the question is, how can this location get me in this book? How can this location take me to my dream vacation? See, when people are in their own timeshare, your job is to put them back in the dream. They were dreaming on day nine, they still dreaming. But when they come here, your job is putting them back in the dream. How can I go to Park City, Utah? I need to own at a great location like Orlando Westgate Vacation Village Town Center. That give me my dream. Well, I want, but I can't get what I want. But God darn, we'll give you gold membership. We'll give you extra. These are benefits that help you seal the deal. Sorry. These are benefits that help you get the family buy a five bedroom or four bedroom or whatever works for them. It helps them because they're a gold member. They're happy. They're excited. Then you sit, put them on a the cruise. These are benefits. What come along my ownership? Do I just have a two beds, a TV, and a bathroom, 1,400 square feet that sleeps eight people very comfortable? Or do I have...